since before the holidays but we are back in concord rangers fc checking in and it is boxing day as you can see a little bit of a mixed mixed bag over the last couple of months so a couple of really strange results after a good win against hungerford 3-2 we had a 4-4 draw against oxford city a 5-5 draw against hendon uh, newly promoted and, uh, yeah, it was a late equalizer that brought us back into that one. Then a 3-1 loss at Hereford, and things all started to go a little south. We did pull things around and qualify for the proper rounds of the FA Trophy. Um, but then we drew Chippenham at home. Danny Green sent off in that one. And then we lost 3 nothing to Havant and Waterlooville. Really embarrassing loss. We turned it around and beat them in the FA Trophy 3-1, although it did take extra time uh, for that to occur. So we're back in the Vonorama South, and uh, we're taking on Chesham here. We've got two big games today, Chesham and Gloucester. I'm hoping that I can get back to winning ways in the league because, as you can see, it has been since October the 26th, a full two months since my last win in the league. Um, so, as a result, we've slipped to sixth. It's horrible to look at, really, but we are still in the hunt for those higher places in the playoffs, and a win against Chesham could give us the ammunition that we need. Okay, so, in terms of our starting lineup, not too many surprises. I don't think Danny Green has returned from injury. We are going to bring... Going to give Lee Mitchell a rest. We're going to bring Parkinson into the midfield. And we will go ahead and give Aaron Pollock a start in central defense. Um, Minchel makes the bench. So... Uh, does Lashley. So Besant, Sterling, Pollock, Clark, Clohesse, Hunter the Hungry, Parkinson, Taylor, Danny Green, Combs, and Anaya up top with Alex Wall on the bench in case we need him. So let's jump straight in to this match. Concord versus Chesham. We desperately need a win. All right, boys. It's time to put an end to this poor run of foam. Go out and make it count. Go out and make it count, lads. We need this as they get things kicked off. We're on a decent-sized pitch here that might support our style of play. Combs pulls up injured in the first, the first minute. The first highlight from the kickoff. Yeah, things have been going swimmingly here. Uh, Alex Wall on straight away. <sighs> wow. Okay. See, Hereford, six points clear at the top. Woking, holding on to that, that second place. But we still have a shot of climbing back up there amongst Woking and Maidenhead as close he gets booked in the first 10 minutes, his second yellow card of the season. Now we have a free kick. A little bit of a little bit of a stop start beginning to this game. Another yellow card handed out. Thir 14 minutes gone, and the only highlight so far is uh, the injury. <laughs> the injury to Adam Coe. Still nothing. 25 minutes gone. This is not promising. Half an hour gone. Nothing. We've had one shot on target, and uh, and that's it. The first half's gone by, and. Uh, Nothing happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I am far from pleased because I didn't see anything. There was nothing to see. 
no highlights. The only highlight was an injury to our striker in the first minute. So Clark forward to Anaya. Can we can we do something here without injuring anybody? Taylor out wide for Green. Switches the play. Hunt. Hunter the hungry. Looks to cross. It's blocked behind, but it is a corner. Can we create something? Green to take. He's going to in-swing it to the far post. Muscle White heads away. Well, as it stands, we'll stay six, but Hunter the Hungry has a free kick. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Oh, it was saved by Duffy, actually. Hunt to take the subsequent corner. Clark at the far post. Uh, how's he miss that? Oh my god, okay, green. Towards the penalty spot, headed away, but not fully cleared. We could still be in here, green. And he was offside. All right, we're actually starting to create. A little bit of a press here is on, but they're playing it out from the back. Got a chance to put them under some pressure, but in the end they're putting us under pressure and Clayton maybe in. Forced a little wide there. Ramadan. That was a soft shot. I can't believe Bezant, Bezant barely got to it. <laughs> At the far post, Parkinson heads away. It falls to Smith. Pollock able to boot it clear finally. Who is playing well? Pretty much nobody. They're all about 6.4, 6.5. So literally no standout performers in my whole team, basically. Parkinson now. Pollock. Taylor. Taylor with a chance to feed Wall in behind. Wall's got the ball square. Anaya. Was he brought down? What the hell happened there? They've made they've made a sub and it's about time I did the same because this is this is just absurd to watch. Um, Connor Hunt, who's been great for me all season, is is playing horribly. But you see, Nanaya just I don't know redefining incompetence at the striker role. <laughs> um, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, Connor Hunt is going to come off. Fraser Shaw will take his place. We'll move Sterling up to that left wing. Sterling, one of the few people who's playing well today. Because now they have a corner. 62 minutes gone. Taylor with a really poor clearance. Wall might latch onto this, though. He's got a ball forward to Anaya if he finds him. He doesn't. And then the highlight ends. And now United have a free kick. Alex Wall's been booked. This is this is absurd. Um, I'm gonna up the tempo a little bit. Just see what we can. We've got a set piece here. Green to Wall. Alex Wall finally breaks the deadlock here in the 71st minute. Off the corner. Powerful header. He ran onto it with that late run. No one picked him up. And Alex Wall, who came on for Adam Combs in the third minute, scores for Concord Rangers. And can we just get a result here to move back up into the serious contention? Green to the far post. Anaya falls for Taylor. Taylor with the shot on. Blocked in front of the keeper. 76 minutes gone. We just need to see this out here. Chesh, I'm trying to get back into things. Bad ball there. Taylor collects. Parkinson's got a ball forward for Anaya. Anaya is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he finish and put this away? He does. You see Anaya with his eighth goal of the season. We hit him on the counter. 80, 82 minutes gone. It's 2 nothing Concord Rangers, and that should be enough to get us back to winning ways in the league. Anaya has been so questionable in those one-on-ones, but he finally found some composure there. 
to give us a very crucial goal in what is a crucial game to get us back amongst the wins. Everybody's performance has picked up in the last about 10, 15 minutes. We picked up the tempo a little bit, and we've just sucker punched them a couple of times. It's been a fairly even game. We've played well defensively the entire game, and it looks like this will be enough to see it out. It is. It's all over. The two goals laid on, 71st minute and 81st minute, good enough to get Concord the win. Oh, I can't even say it. That was extremely important for us. And uh, from here, it should give us something going in to this Gloucester City match to just keep climbing that table uh, at the top half and get back into the respectable playoff places here in the festive period. Oh, good. Adam Combs is out for four to five weeks with a twisted ankle. Just innocuously, he wasn't doing anything. And we still have Jake Cope out. All right, so we're back and we're ready to take on Gloucester. They sit 20th. It should not be a problem. But the issue we're having now is the fact that basically all of my first team players are not fit enough to play this match. Um, so we've got a little bit of a couple of changes. We've got a new, a new face in here, Joseph Jarvis. So he's on loan from Northampton. He's a three-star current ability uh, right back. And you can see his physicals are why he's in the team can run all over the place. So we've got Shaw in for Sterling, Pollock and Parkinson in defense, Jarvis at right back, Hunter the Hungry on the left, Owen Ashton, our 18-year-old central midfielder, in with Lee Minchel in the center, Rory Oliver, our young winger. Uh, well, I say young, he's 21. But uh, And then we've got Loney, Adam Wilson, um, normally plays out on the wing but can play as a striker. He's four-and-a-half-star current ability. He's on loan from Peterborough. And up there with Yasin Anaya. So let's see how we get on with this many changes. All right, we're back at the aspect down on Kenvey Island, and we should we should be winning this comfortably. Um, but they want revenge. I know many of you will want to avenge what happened last time. Please don't get injured in the first four minutes like Adam Combs did in the last match. Jarvis getting his first start. He's Already looking to make an impact with a long ball forward towards Wilson. Nothing doing. They have a corner now. Battle on the end of it. And his first goal of the season, whoever Alex Battle is, Gloucester City have taken the lead inside the first seven minutes. Their first shot on target, really their first attack. The first highlight of the game. It's a super simple header. Just no one picks him up. And it's past Besant in a flash. And we trail. The team in 20th and uh they are they are probably it looks like they're out playing us as pollock looks to collect this can we find something here shaw looking for wilson down the left wilson able to collect it him and hunt linking up hunt hunter the hungry infield for ashton ashton up towards anaya anaya shot blocked but it is a corner in the 11th minute that is our first shot of the game of any sort. Hunt, Pollock at the near post. It's over the bar. Well, this would be a not great loss to a team that is not playing well <laughs> in any sense of the word. But we do have some firepower on the bench, so let's see if we can get back into it and bring in the, the cavalry here. <laughs> Mix up at the back. Wilson with a chance. He's got options. Hunt. Hunt has scored. Hunter the Hungry. Ninth goal of the season with the assist by Adam Wilson in that striker position. It is 1-1. Terrible defending by Gloucester. Wilson with the aggressive tackle. The, the pressing. He gets what it's like to be a beach boy. And Hunt with the header. It's all very simple. Once, once we got into that position, that does... Move us up to fourth with the one point. So three points here has to be the target, especially with defending like that. I mean, my God. Hunt cutting in from the left. Finds Minchel. We're being patient here. Just knocking it around. Hunt. 
Hunter the Hungry up towards Anaya, but it's cut out by Gloucester City. And they clear it only to Parkinson, though. Oliver's got space. Does he pick the right option? Anaya shot blocked once again. Anaya is playing a little bit better. I think his confidence was done wonders by that goal in the last game. But he's had a couple of shots blocked. Now Gloucester City have a free kick. Owen Ashton is going to be booked. He was almost booked early on, and he needs to, he needs to chill out. Diaz floats a free kick in for Gloucester, headed away. Can we hit them on the counter here? Mitchell, Shaw, we just we slowed everything down. The, the long ball was on. It might still be. Hunt has drawn a lot of defenders over to his side, and he's played it infield for Anaya, who can't win the header. They're going to look to play out from the back here. It did not work out well the last time, and Anaya's latched onto this. Anaya scored ninth goal of the season for Yasin Anaya, and it's another mix-up at the back for Gloucester. Their manager just must be absolutely fuming. Get rid would be my instruction from here on out. Stop this play out from the back nonsense. We've capitalized twice. We need to create more for, for our own because they've created both of our goals, essentially. We do take the lead, though. 2-1, 35 minutes gone. Shaw up to Hunt. Hunt's been bossing things down this left wing. Wilson, who's drifted wide from his striker role, can do that. He kind of naturally fits the bill for a, a striker like that. Ashton's infield. Ashton's got options. Ops for the short pass to Minchel. Just being a little conservative right now. Who's going to pick that killer pass? Ashton and Mitchell just passing it back and forth in the midfield right now, but Ashton opts to play it forward for Anaya. Anaya's found Oliver down the right. Infield for Wilson. Oh, he's missed a sitter. He's missed an absolute sitter. Shaw to Ashton. Minchel. Oh, Wilson with a chance to, to open his account. He's played well, but he really should have scored from there. We've got a free kick, though. Oliver with a chance. Oh, what a free kick. It's Rory Oliver's first goal of the season. He's in for Danny Green, who would normally be over those free kicks, and the youngster has scored himself his first Concord Rangers goal. He's a beach boy now. What a free kick. Right in the top corner, curled in, and the celebration matches. It's 3-1 Concord here as we end the first half. And that is more like it, folks. That is far more like it. As we actually leapfrog Woking into third place as it stands, uh, they will have a, their game still to come, but our goal difference has taken us ahead of Woking for the time being. Very pleased. Let's just, let's just make sure... Let's just make sure we don't get complacent. We've had some crazy results recently in the league, but we are playing well. It looks... Like, we should assert control over this game, but I do not want to speak too soon because God only knows things have gone so sideways in the past. Oliver here, it looks like we're on the counter. He's got an eye in the center. I think he's straight offside, though. He's going to put this in the back of the net, but he was, yeah, he was well off. Um, it was one of those where it just, it's so obvious that he was off, and he just, he just kept jogging in an, in a, I mean, he's miles offside. <laughs> Uh, Anaya had put it in the back of the net. It's actually a pretty tidy finish, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you're just going to casually jog in an offside position. Jarvis, the lone signing, that was a dangerous back pass to Besson. That was that was a little bit of a pucker, a pucker moment for all of the Concord Rangers faithful in attendance at the aspect. Osei Kofi with a poor clearance hunt in for Anaya. It's fallen for Minchel here from distance. It's blocked in front of goal. Can we keep the pressure on Ashton back to Parkinson? No. Highlight ends. Parkinson is looking a bit tired there in central defense. He's played really well, though. Sterling is, or well, Clark is the option here. I might wait a little bit longer to bring Clark in. I just don't want to disrupt the defense. They've played well. Back to basics with our 4-4-2. Isaac Ward receives a booking, and Oliver with another chance from a free kick. Uh, blocked by the wall that time. He couldn't make lightning strike twice. Pollock collects Minchel. He's got Oliver well out to the left. Oliver and Hunt switching flanks for a second. 
Ashton for Mitchell. Back to Oliver. Oliver shot blocked in front. You're right, assistant manager, but Jack Midson, also striker, but uh, I don't know. It's just it's tough to take him off right now. Ashton, poor clearance again by Gloucester. Wilson with a curler, and it's in. I think the keeper got something to it, but it is Adam Wilson's first goal for, for Concord Rangers on loan. A curling effort. Crump in goal. He certainly won't be dancing following that. Ashton Wilson, he turned. Crump could only get a hand to it. What a strike from Adam Wilson, the loney. He's given us quite a boost here. It is 4-1. I think now is the time to take Parkinson off. Parkinson is is shattered at center back. He's put in a hell of a performance there. 7.5 at center back are very are very versatile. A very versatile uh, coach player. He can do it all. C central defense, central mid. He's like the Virgil van Dyke of the Vonorama National South. Pollock, Shaw. Terrible back pass, and Simo has let us off the hook there. Well, we owed them a terrible, <laughs> a terrible mistake at the back, and we gave it to them. Luckily, they did not capitalize. Gloucester showing why they are sitting so low in the table. And Concord asserting their dominance. You can see we're still four points behind Maidenhead in second. But third place has to be the target this year because we have to find a way to avoid that first round of the playoffs. If we get into the semifinals, anything is possible. It's still early enough. I mean, there's a chance that we could catch Hereford as long as we keep on a run of good form. I'm going to look to make a couple of subs and get people get people a rest. Um, let's bring Jake Taylor on for Minchel. And let's bring on Alex Wall for Anaya. Get Anaya a little bit. Oh, well, you know, it's 10 minutes, but... Oliver with a chance to put the icing on the cake with this delivery. It's just over everybody's head. Pollock will get to it first, though. Plays it all the way back to Shaw. Shaw floated it into the box. Nothing doing. Simo trying to run away here for Gloucester. Bird's in behind, and Bird has a chance, but Bezant collects easily. That's a couple of clear-cut opportunities that Gloucester have not done anything with. Thank goodness. It looks like we're going to get out of here with the win. 4-1. They have a free kick just at the end of the game here. Besant catches. Well held. And as soon as he clears this, essentially, it is game over. Jose Kofi collects for Gloucester. And that is the final whistle. It is a 4-1 win for Concord. And a solid win at that. Hunt, Anaya, Oliver, and Wilson in the goals. And it was Rory Oliver and Adam Wilson's first goals for the club. Well, I mean, that is a very good performance across the board. All right, so as you can see, as we look around the league, we do sit third for the time being. Hereford's still top of the table in Maidenhead, four points clear of us. We are even on points with Woking. Woking will likely climb back into third. Um, I'm not sure who Woking's next game is against. I'm assuming it's interesting. So they don't play. They will have a game in hand for a little while here. Rory Oliver with a superb game. He's uh, he, he had come in from Walsall, um, and he hasn't been playing as much because we've had some backup in the right-wing area. But he played exceptionally well in this last game. A goal and an 8.3 rating. You can't really ask for much more. So, as we look ahead, we have, obviously, a long run-in for, uh, for the title or for the league and chasing promotion. Over the next couple of games, we've got Torquay, Welling, and Weston Supermare. 
Hartlepool in the FA Trophy second round, Chelmsford, Maidenhead, Bath. Let's see. I will likely return in February for this Maidenhead match, and we will go from there. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed what you've seen of the Beach Boys, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys, and we can see if we can get the Beach Boys back uh, up into those promotion contention places. So, until next time. We can't